Hey, what's up guys? Well, you can see we got the roof rack in here off the truck and uh, I've got to go and finish getting all the joints welded up. From here back is all welded. Uh, did that, you know, on the first day. And then yesterday we did all the tacking and, and everything for this. So we got to go burn in all these welds and I'm going to bring you up close up here. We've, we've got a, uh, some pretty big gaps that we left intentionally. Um, I'm going to bring you close in and this video is just going to be about uh, filling a large gap with a TIG because um, I think there's a misconception and I even thought it you know as well that if you have a large gap you really can't you know TIG up a large gap but in reality I think there's a lot of advantages to it so let me bring you close in up here and show you what we got okay well this is up at the front of the truck here and um, you know that the uh, the slope across the front of the truck is it's lower on the sides and then crowns up you know as you work toward the middle so in order to kind of match that a little bit, we, we left the rotation on this clocked a little bit this way. So it's kind of coming up and then we flatten out and come across. Now I could have cut this back here and spliced in a little uh, piece of a U-bend in there to help with that. But man, we were hot and ready to just get this thing over with. Um, you know, so we just did it. We just tacked it up this way. So, you know, the thought is, Convention wisdom is you'd have to MIG weld this up or make a little tiny patch and put in there. But actually, I like the TIG better because you can, um, you know, because we're going to grind all this down and smooth it and probably just body work this section uh, on this. Um, I like the TIG because, um, you know, you don't end up with all the porosity and, you know, the really uh, hard weld, work hardened surface that you got to grind the 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 tig just cleans up really nice you don't end up with the pinholes and all that stuff and especially for what we're going to do on this so we're going to get all these burned in and and show you as we go and we'll bring you in close in when we get ready to fill this in i'm just going to show this real quick this is a ck17 fx flex head torch it's really cool because you can um, you know pretty much position it if your hands are out of place and you don't have the right angle you just bend the torch to get it there you know bend it that way and then it's got the uh, flex hose, super light, super flexible. Never, you know, weighting you down, getting in the way. I used to have to drape it over my neck. Now I can just let this thing hang and it's not enough, you know, drag on the torch to cause your hand to move as you're, as you're welding. So anyway, we're gonna um, try to see if we can fill this gap. First thing I'm gonna do is take a uh, 16th inch uh, filler rod, obviously a bigger piece than this, and weld a little bead on each side of it there. And then we'll take a, a 332nd because this is the thickest I have right now um, and then bridge across it and then probably go back over it once we get it melt it back in add a little filler and you know and make it look uniform All right, you see we got a, a thick edge built up on each side and that way we'll keep the edge from blowing away. We're gonna switch over to the 30, 132nd and see if we can get it bridged across there. Okay, <clears throat> you know, not too bad. Got the widest part of the gap uh, filled in there. And uh, we'll probably come back and grind this one time, get it smoothed down, and then maybe run back across it and, you know, maybe touch up. But we're gonna smooth and blend all this anyway. Um, you know, and this is not a, you know, anything's gonna be running on the inside of it. It's not a structural piece. It's, it's just uh, decorative, basically, uh, roof rack. I uh, also wanted to point out that this is a luminized coating. This is bare steel. It's really hard to find straight sections of mild bare steel exhaust tubing anymore. There are a couple places, but um, just the most of the exhaust shops and places on eBay and online, you 
get. I mean, pretty much all of it's aluminized. Seems to do okay. Not near as bad as galvanized. Doesn't produce any, uh, at least the best I can tell, doesn't produce anything bad for you. But um, anyway, so that's that. All right, here we go, a little uh, turbo TIG segment using the Meech 13 fusion weld technique. No filler rod, just gonna go uh, quick and uh, run along it and fuse it together. I'm gonna keep the filler rod handy in case it starts to keyhole a little bit, but uh, not planning on using it. <laughs> 